This video explains how to draw a raster plot based on a data frame object in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. If we want to draw a raster plot based on a data frame, we first need to specify the number of rows and columns in our raster. And we can do that as you can see in line two of the code. So in this case, I'm specifying that I want to have two rows and two columns in our raster plot. Then we also need to create an example data frame. And for this, we first need to set a random seed for reproducibility. And then I'm creating a data frame called data one, as you can see in lines six to eight of the code. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine. And then you can see that our data frame contains the x and y coordinates as well as a column containing values. Now, if we want to draw a raster plot based on this data frame, we also need to install and load the raster package, as you can see in lines 11 and 12. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 12 of the code. And then in the next step, we can apply the raster form xyz to our data frame, data1. And in this case, I'm storing the output of this function in a new data object that I'm calling data raster one. So after running line 14 of the code, this new data object is appearing at the top right and we can print it to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 15 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data object that contains certain information for our raster plot. In the next step, we can simply apply the plot function to our data raster object, as you can see in line 17 of the code. And as you can see, after running this line of code, a new raster plot with two rows and two columns based on our data frame has been created. So in this first example, I have shown you a very simplified example with only two rows and columns in a raster plot. However, it's also possible to increase the number of rasters in our plot, and we can do that as you can see in the second example, starting in line 19 of the code. So in this case, I'm specifying that I want to create a raster plot with 30 rows and 30 columns. So after running line 19 of the code, this number is specified, and then I'm creating a new data frame, as in the previous example, as you can see in lines 21 to 23, and I'm printing the head of this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console. And then you can see that once again, we have created an X, a Y column and a column containing values. As in the previous example, I'm applying the raster form XYZ function to this data object and I'm storing the output in a new data object called data raster two. And if you print this data object to the RStudio console, you can see once again that we have created a data object containing raster information. And then we can apply the plot function to this data object, as you can see in line 29. And then you can see that we have created another more complex raster plot at the bottom right of our studio. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.